have something in your front of you. Are you ready? Yes. Say, Father. Father. I'm excited. I'm excited. About intimacy. About intimacy. My heart is open. My heart is open. To hear clear. To hear clear. And respond correct. And respond correct. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's do this now. The key to intimacy is time. All right? The key to intimacy is time. In the Bible, I'm going to give you some scriptures that will bless your life. Romans 5 and 5. Galatians 5 and 6. 1 John 4, 17 and 18. Luke 10, 38 to 42. I'm not going to try to read all the scriptures. I'm just going to minister to you out of my spirit. Are you ready to receive? Amen. Watch how powerful this is. In the Bible, the first thing the Lord wanted to do was introduce himself. Pastor, you know in the Old Testament he was a seeker? He was a seeker in the Old. Watch what happened in the Old. Everybody knew what he could do, but didn't nobody know him. Isn't that interesting? Every name in the Old Testament described something he could do, but it didn't tell you who he was. What Jesus came to do was introduce us to him and what he really was. Guess what he always wanted? You. He never wanted anything but you. So to cultivate the place to walk back in the supernatural, it just takes time. Isn't that interesting? It just takes time. One of the greatest things about the Lord's prayers, our Father which art in heaven, the key now was he never was known as Father till Jesus came. He's always known as God. But God is always in person. Everybody got a God. Very few people have a dad. He always wanted to be dad. He never wanted to be God. Isn't it interesting? He never wanted to be God. God just tell you what he could do. Hmm? How many folks you know? And you know what they can do. But you don't know them. Yeah. And that's who y'all may be. You know. You know. But you don't know. You, you know the occupation. Mm -hmm. You know how they function, but you don't know that person. One of the greatest things about cultivating intimacy is getting to know him. But watch how powerful this is. The purpose for intimacy now is to walk back in the supernatural. All right, what did Adam and Eve lose? The supernatural. And then right, they lost the supernatural. So the, the desire right now is to go back to that. And the only way to get back is with the Holy Ghost. Everybody trying to do everything else but my sister. Surrender to the one that came, my sister, and already got your greatness in him. All right? I want you to be in him. Watch what I've been doing. I've been teaching my children. Don't try to love God no more. Quit trying to love him. Quit trying to love him. Let him love you. And when y'all in love with anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you remember how it happened? If, if you loved her first, you got it. Because if you loved her first, watch this. All you did was talk to her about what you were going to do for her, how you were going to be, blah, 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 right? And the more you talked to her about what you wanted to do for her, the easier it was for her to submit to you. Well, same thing he wanted to do now. He just wanted to talk to you. But he talks to you through his spirit. The Holy Ghost came to reconnect the love of that that was missing. In the garden, the place God means delightful place. Fenced in. What he been? He want to fence you in with him. He want to fence you in with nobody with him and love you to the point that you told us to run. Hmm? The whole thing in the life now, going back to cultivate now, is letting him have his way with you first. And when he do marry Yes. You ever let them have their way? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I mean, <laughs> let them have it. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, stop. stop. <laughs> if you ever let them have their way, it was no sense, was it? Because mm -hmm. what they had done, now watch this, they had paid enough attention to you to know what you like. Isn't that true? Watch what happened with her now. Mm. I found out she liked. Ice cream. <laughs> so every time I went to see her, you I took ice some ice cream. Oh! I took some ice cream every time I went. And I ice creamed her and ice creamed her. Hi, lady. <laughs> While I was giving her ice cream, I was asking her, what else do you like? That's what the Lord wants to do with you. 
He wants to love you to the point where you're willing to tell him right, what you like. And what's going to happen now, the more he loves you, watch what happens now. When he loves you like he wants to, your will changes. Hmm? If you allow him to love you like he wants to, your will going to change. All that's wrong, right? You, you, you man. You, I ain't gonna talk to you. You man. Yes, sir. Right. Do you remember when he started talking? Yes. And he talked you into yes. giving him <laughs> everything you had. Yes. Didn't he? Come on now. Yes. If, he brought, if he talked right. He talked right. Come on. Yes. He talked <laughs> right. He talked you into giving it's the truth. He talked you into giving him, and you surrender. Oh. You start saying, hey, and yeah, yeah, okay, All right. what else? Yeah. Oh, my. Cultivating the love. Yes. If you allow him to love you like he wants to, you come to the, the greatest thing in cultivating the love of him is being able to say, nevertheless. Mm. Mm. Oh, my, my. The, the, the whole oh, thing is the love of him. It's coming to the place where you're willing to say, nevertheless. Watch what happens now. He'll do it like that. Mm -hmm. He'll just keep on giving you himself to you don't want nothing but him. Oh, my God. You want, oh, you won't want nothing but him. Oh, he'll, he'll mess with you to you don't want nothing but him. The challenge and the love of him cultivate, he said, just let me have challenge. Mm -hmm. Just let me have time. All that I want is some time. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing else. Just give me a little time. Because watch this. What you've got to understand in this study now, he done already studied you. Mm -hmm. He done how much yes he did. He done already studied. Come on now, watch it. When he came up, didn't he know something already? Yes, yes. Or somebody had told him something about you. Yes, yes. Or he had seen something that he was interested in and he wasn't afraid to approach you. Man, no matter how you do it, tell me. Give, he give did, it. real good. What, what did you do? What he, did. Did. he brought some flowers. I like he brought roses. some flowers. See them? Oh, my. He heard some somewhere. That I like roses. Right? That you, he know, oh, uh, see that? Watch this. He know what you like. He know what you, he know what you like already. And he's ready to bring that to you. Yes. He's ready to bring the revelation of himself to you in such a magnificent way. Remember how Jesus called folks? He done things for them they couldn't do for themselves. That's what the Holy Spirit came to do. He came to do something for you you can't do for yourself and get your attention. And once he gets your attention, he begins to intoxicate you with his words. That's why it takes time for him. If you let him start talking to you, he ain't going to never say nothing bad. He don't have a bad word. He don't have a, a disgruntled word. He don't have no words like that concerning you. You know why? Because he always talks to you about what's on his mind. And ain't nothing ever on his mind about you but good. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes down from a God. Right? So Galatians, now watch it later. Five and six, right? His love will make faith work in you. Love make faith work, right? Watch what his love do. His love will cultivate you to the point where you can believe what he said. Hmm? Love make faith work. Is that right? Love make faith work. So what are you saying? He said, let me, watch this, love you till you believe I can do what I say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, let me love you till you believe. He said, I love you till you believe. And have my word. He went about doing good. He is not the oppressor there. He went about doing good. He went about loving people. Back into a relationship that there was somebody that already was concerned about them. And it was God himself. But he came now, what, in flesh, right? The word became flesh. He could not let man have the same experience in the natural to get him back to the supernatural. Because when you get born again, you leave the natural to go to the supernatural. The Holy Spirit wants to be your shepherd. Excuse me. Jesus was the first shepherd. For the first disciples, right? That's why he said, it's expedient of you that I go away. Because if I don't go away, watch this. My help for you can't come. But when the Holy Ghost came, now, he don't want to come to live in you. He really didn't come to live in you. He came to possess you. Because in scripture, the scripture said, right, you in him. See, if you keep, you in him. You in him. Not he in you. 
You know what I'm talking about? Not, not, not he ain't in you. You in him. You in, you in Christ. You in the burden removing the yoke, destroy. But the first thing he want to do is lift all your burdens, destroy all your yoke, and show off through you. All he want to show off through you. He want to show off through you. He want to give you everything, and you go out and just brag about him. Did you see bragging about how good he been to you? People mad with you because you got so much. See you know what I'm talking about? And you still regretting him. Bring them over to the house and sit around the pool with barbecue and everything. And tell them, say, watch this, stop being mad with you so me so you can get your pool. The whole thing is witness you now. He wanna give you everything in your mouth as bait. He wanna give you all the stuff you go to have and use it as bait. And when folks talk bad about you, you send them flowers, you send them money, you, you, you do great things for them. Persecution produces glory. Yeah. Persecution yeah. produces glory. So when folks are talking about you, all the blessing. Yes. Come on. I've already done that. When people start talking about me, I, I call them. I say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you're talking about me. Yes. The more you talk about me, the more he bless me. Please talk about me some more. Don't stop that. talking about me. Because the more persecution came, the more glory appeared. Oh my goodness. To cultivate the love of God, you're not intimidated by people's words. Hmm? Persecution ain't nothing but words. Hmm? Ain't that right from the enemy to try to distract you? But when you're walking in love, watch this, and he's got your attention, you can't be distracted. You know love will keep your focus. Focus. Love will keep your focus. Won't nothing keep you focused but love. Won't nothing else keep you focused. You can't keep you focused. He does. You see what I'm talking about? Y'all never been somewhere. She done done this. I was, I was in church now. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I'm cute. Watch this now. Oh. I wasn't doing nothing, but my anointing was attracted. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So it attracted this young lady toward me, right? Mm -hmm. Pastor, and she came over and slid over. I wasn't paying her no attention. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? But she did. She came right upside me. <laughs> just like they didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. She was talking about, but when the young lady saw my stuff, uh-oh, she just moved on over and went on about her in The Holy Ghost want to do you like that. Mm -hmm. He want to be so, he want you to be so conscious of his presence, no matter where the enemy comes from and how he disguises himself, you can't get tricked. Right. The whole thing in contemplating the love effect is understanding you've got protection everywhere you go. Now, everywhere you go. Now, watch the thing now. It's got to be the time in Luke 10. Remember, I showed you Luke 10, 38 and 42. Watch what was going on. Jesus went over to Martha and Mary's house. Deacon went over to Martha and Mary's house. And because it was love, Mary chose the right hook. Huh? Mary chose the right hook. Martha thought if she do a lot of church stuff, uh, come on, yeah. then yes. it'll do it. You say, no, don't, don't do no church stuff. Come be with me. And I'll be the church through you. Because you know the church came out of him, right? You know, like Eve came out of Adam. The church came out of Jesus. That's why it's an insult to talk bad about the church. Because you talk bad about the church, you're talking bad about Jesus. The whole thing in the love affair, watch it in the church, is iron sharp and tired. You see people running from church to church. They don't understand the process of growth. The process of growth is iron sharp as iron. You go to the right place, people will rub you the right way to get the junk off you. Ain't that good? <laughs> you doing something like me. You don't been somewhere down here with the pastor. That's the best place to be. That's the, if you get mad with the pastor now, that's the best place to be because he your gift. Come on. He's the one that can cultivate a love affair with you, all right, till you want to do what the Lord wants you to do because he'll love you and tell you the truth. He'll love you and tell you the truth. He'll speak the truth to you in love in such a magnificent way that he'll get your heart. Do you know if you get somebody's heart, guess what? They can't leave you. Now, I'm also trying to do other stuff, but once you get their heart, you know what I'm talking about? 
We've been together almost 50 years. I wasn't working at nothing but getting my heart. Once I got a heart, it was sooky sooky. Oh, my goodness. It was on after that. Oh. I used to get up in the morning before she got up so I could pray for her. Right? And she was working. I'd get up and I'd pray for her. And I'd fix her breakfast and I'd fix her lunch. And I'd put a little love note in, the, in, the, in every day. I, I had a good one. <laughs> Cause he told me that what she liked. Why she? The Lord know what you like. Yes, he does. He'll intoxicate you every morning that you come. Come on. Every morning that yes. you come. Every morning that you come. He'll intoxicate you with himself. He only wants to cultivate. He wants to intoxicate you with himself. Yes. Y'all see what I'm talking about? We had been married 25 years and we got married again. Cause the first time it wasn't right. Y'all see what I'm talking about? I messed up. I didn't ask him, Apostle, I didn't ask him about the wedding night. You, you see what I'm talking about? So at the reception, I gave him some wine and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't ask him, so I gave her some wine. Right? Then I had to go off for a little while. When I came back, she was asleep. I slapped myself. I, slapped my I said, why did I give her that wine? You see what I'm talking about? Why did I give her that wine? I had to give her that wine. <laughs> I didn't ask him, Pastor. I didn't ask him. So I gave her too much wine. I gave her too much. The Holy Ghost won't let you get too much. The Holy Ghost will never do that. He's so concerned about you that he will never give you no more than that is necessary. Never, never, never. That's why cultivating the love affair, if you give him time, I'm going to give you the key. How, what we got? Um, give, I want to give you the key to true success. The key to true success, now watch this, is Psalms 19, Psalms 1914. The key to true success, apostle, is Joshua 180. The key to true success is Psalms 1 and 3. Get what it say? If you meditate. Come on. If you meditate. If you meditate. Watch what it says. Mm. Psalms 1914. He said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, right? My strength. Watch what he's saying, though. Let me put in your mouth what to meditate on. <laughs> Can you see that? Let me put in your mouth what to meditate on. But if you got a vision and you're meditating what he's got, watch this, it's his responsibility to bring it to pass. Wow. Psalms 8 and 110, he said, oh, say, say, I done took you out of the world. I brought you out of Egypt. He said, now open your mouth wide and I'll fill it. Okay. What are you going to fill it with? What do you want you to meditate on, Pastor? Mm -hmm. huh? To cultivate the love of faith in the supernatural, meditation is the key. You can't meditate on what he gives you and be distracted. Mm -hmm. It's impossible now to meditate on what he gives you. Meditation now is nothing but rehearsing your manifestation. Wow. That's what meditation is, right? Meditation is, is, is rehearsing, coach. Meditation is not sitting down thinking. Come on. Meditation is sitting down repeating <laughs> what he's saying. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Y'all never done this? I ain't never done it because I ain't had to. Because I'm so, so right. I know what to do to get her. So I didn't say, she loved me, she loved me not. Y'all never saw that? Yeah. She loved me. She, I, ain't, I ain't have to say that. I kept saying, she loved me. She loved me. I'm going to get her. She don't know it yet. But I'm going to get her. Deacon, I kept saying, oh, she loved me. Oh, she loved me. Uh, Deacon, I kept saying, she loved me. The Holy Ghost will put the right words in your mouth. Yeah, thank you. All you got to say is what he tell you to say. Hmm? See, meditation opens the door, watch this, for every revelation you'll ever need. Hmm? Can you see what I'm talking about? The revelation about the next move will come out of meditation. He'll give you a scripture, you begin to meditate that scripture. You just sit down with him and say, Dad, this is what you said. Come on. Just rehearse back to him 
what he said to you. Now watch, watch this, Jeremiah 1, 12. He said, I watch over what I say because yes. I want to perform it. Can, can you see that? He said, I watch over what I say. But what intoxicates him now is when you say it back to him. Yeah. Meditation is saying back to him what he told you to say. Y'all never done that with y'all children? She would do that a lot. All the time she say, tell me what I told you. <laughs> you know, tell me what I told you. What did I say? Hmm? The love affair is about repeating hmm, what he told you to say. Do you really want to become a worshiper? Become a meditator. Because in worship, all you're doing is repeating back to him what he's already said to you. It's in time. Oh. We get him drunk some Sunday mornings and just take all his stuff. Because worship gets him drunk. <laughs> Did y'all know that? If you meditate and you begin to worship him, talking to him about what he's already said to you, it don't do nothing. Y'all ever seen anybody drunk? <laughs> you know somebody get drunk, they just give you everything they got. <laughs> Y'all ought to work on tomorrow, getting them drunk tomorrow. Don't get them drunk today. Don't get them drunk tomorrow. Intoxicate him by meditating on what he's told you. <laughs> Has he gave you something? Are you meditating on it though? You see, has he gave you? Uh, your meditation keeps you focused. See, your meditation will keep you focused. Meditation makes the shield of faith impenetrable. Remember the word? The shield of faith, what? Quench all the fire and dust of the wicked? It can't happen unless you meditate. When you meditate, it fortifies your mind. Meditation fortifies your mind so when the devil shoots stuff at you, it can't get in. Hmm? Meditation is fortification of the mind that when you got in your mind, what's in his heart, it protects your mind. Hmm? So no matter what the devil shoots at you, you can't get in. Can't get in. Keep your focus. Can everybody see meditation? I got one more minute. Let's do this. Say, Father. Father. I'm excited. I'm excited. I realize. I realize. All you want to do. All you want is do. love on me. Is love on me. And I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. For you to love on me. You love like on me. Like never before. Like never before. In Jesus' name. In I'm Jesus ready. Name. I'm ready. To hear clear. To hear clear. respond correctly. Respond correctly. see your will. see your will. Manifest through. Like never before. Like the more you bless me, the more you bless me. brag on you. The more you bless me, the more you brag on you. The more you bless me, the more you brag on you. The more you bless me, the more you brag on you. The more you bless me, the more you brag on you. The more you bless me, the more you brag on you. In Jesus' name. Thank you all. Amen.